Hey guys, welcome back. Back working on the F100 today. Fighting with this piece. This, just like the front, is too wide. Unless we wanted to just put it right over top of the existing, which that defeats the purpose in my eyes. Um, apparently that's a way to do it, and that's apparently the way these are made. When I had it up front, we had the hinge pocket there. So we were fighting that, and we needed to shrink it in. And it's looking to be the same on the back. Um, it's about a quarter of an inch too big. Whenever I cut just a test piece right there, the gap that that leaves me is just a little over a sixteenth of an inch. Since we don't have to contend with that hinge pocket here on the back, I'm thinking it might be easier just to slice the whole thing down the middle and then weld it back together. Um, that would shrink it in just a hair and that would probably be a manageable distance then to where maybe we just have to hammer it a little bit for it to fit. We're not going too super crazy with how much we're going to use. Um, probably only going to use about half of it. The pitting really stops about right here, so not a whole lot of it. Worst case scenario, if I mess this up, we'll just have to move on and work on something else. And I'm so tired of working on this side, that won't hurt my feelings a bit. So... Am I going to be able to get it back together? That is the million dollar question. This might be the shortest episode ever. pretty flat to me. Now that we've got that welded up, grinded down, now that's skinnier there for it. So now that's going to be ready for there. But I need to cut some more of this out of the way. We just kind of rough cut it 
the other day when we were putting in the rocker to get it out of the way. So I'm going to come about right here, cut that off. I don't want to get too crazy up here because this is still good and I don't want to get way up in here. But we are going to get around this gas filler so I can cut right there and not really have any trouble. Okay, that's actually in a lot better shape than what I thought it was. Um, I thought that this was very heavily pitted all the way up into here, but it actually stops about right there. Um, this here's just a little bit of surface rust, which we'll sand that down, but I'm only going to cut this off about right there. getting somewhere let's go ahead put this in here got that all cut everything I want out of there um, this is looking a lot better than what the front did the front really really fought me I think slicing it down the middle is really going to make a difference at least I hope so Moment of truth. Is it going to fit or are we going to have to beat it to death with a hammer? Beat it to death with a hammer it is.
Okay, that wasn't terrible. Um, fits, yeah. Fits about the way I thought it would. So, I think we'll just go ahead and clamp it up and weld it. Well, we're going to drill it. We're going to drill it first and then we'll weld it. Hose are drilled, paint's been grinded, almost fits, it's welded in. Got it all booger welded in there. All we got left just to grind it up, and I think we're done. Okay, got this piece all welded in, grinded up. It fits really nice. Sectioning that down the middle was definitely the way to go. Um, that made things a lot easier. I didn't have to fight too much to get that squeezed together. It went in there pretty easy. That's going to do it for today. Cutting down that 
door pillar really made a difference on fitment there that went nice and smooth which that was a nice change of pace compared to what we fought the last two weeks here next week we're going to continue on with some body repair we're going to tackle the rear cab corner my plan is to move this arch over to here so we're going to have a lot of fabrication next week then after that we're probably going to switch it up change gears work on something else for a little bit before we jump back in and tackle the passenger side i just need a mental break from doing the body repair itself so like always thanks for watching the video hit that thumbs up for me we'll see you next week